Hi, my name is Bhaskar Napte. I am the founder of Pharma Growth Hub and today we are going to talk about what is meant by system suitability and why it must be evaluated during analysis. According to USP General Chapter 621, that is about chromatography, the system suitability is described as an integral part of analytical procedure. It is very much part of analytical procedure and you cannot separate out system suitability from analytical procedure like chromatographic conditions. SST is the measure of performance of system on given day within particular sample set. See, when I am using any SPLC system, I must make sure that the SPLC system is suitable for the kind of analysis that I am uh, planning. I must confirm that the, the requirement of uh, detection wavelength is suitably met. I must confirm that the requirement of uh, HPLC column oven is suitably met. In case if there is a need of sample cooler temperature, I must confirm that my HPLC system has a provision to set the required sample temperature and that performs as per my requirement. The performance of a system on a given day that I am analyzing sample today by using particular sample set or the sequence. So within that entire sequence from start to end, if all these parameters are performing as per my expectation, I will say that okay now this HPLC system is suitable for my analysis. SST must be evaluated prior injecting sample solution. It is very important, right? It must be evaluated before injecting any kind of sample. Not only that, but I must also confirm that the system was suitable throughout the analysis and that is called as the bracketing standard. Now some common SST parameters are what percent RSD for a replicate standard injection, plate count, resolution, tailing, etc. I am talking about the chromatography analytical procedure. What is the main objective of SST? The main objective of SST is to recognize possible variabilities are within acceptable performance range. Now what are the possible variations? I may get a variation in resolution, plate counts, tailing because of the column aging. So whatever column I am using, whether that column is really suitable, which gives me the performance in the acceptable range. Mobile phase variation, let us say for in the case of HPLC. Or another instrument variation like injection to injection variation, etc. So in case if all those possible variabilities are considered and if all those possible vari variabilities are performing within the acceptance criteria, then I can say that yes, my system is suitable and that is what the main objective of injecting and running the system suitability. Now how to set the system suitability? You can refer USP General Chapter 621 that is chromatography for understanding the uh, limit for tailing or limit for percent RSD in case of assay. But you must not ignore the knowledge gained during method development. In case if you have developed method in-house, understand what are the critical quality attributes of your procedure and what parameters needs to be captured as a part of your system suitability. In case if you found that the degradant is closely leading to the analyte peak, your API drug, drug substance peak, then it is a good idea to have a resolution solution which consists of a degradant and API and then set the acceptance criteria for the resolution. Thank you so much.